Thank God I've got my country home in the hills of Ohio. Hey guys, we are on the riverbank. I've got the regular dude himself. Uh, not much going on so far. Um, there's a fella here, he caught a walleye earlier. Um, we've got some uh, catfish rigs in the water. He's been getting a few hits, but we think it might be one of them mud dogs. I don't know. But this is a beautiful place. I, this is the first time I've ever been to this area of the river, the Ohio River. And uh, I couldn't have a better tour guide than the regular dude. But uh, so far, not much action. But that's all right because I'm fishing. So I'll uh, show you a little bit of the scenery, a little bit of the area like I normally do. And if I get any action with the fish, I'll let you know. This is a pretty nice view of the Greenup Dam. Uh, we're usually up like literally right on top of it. But uh, right through there is where the barges and boats and stuff go for the locks so they can raise and lower them up to the water level and get them through. Then out here we've got the pipeline, the gas pipeline that goes from Kentucky to Ohio. That is the great commonwealth of Kentucky. And yes, we had to climb down this. We walked about a mile and a half, or a half a mile, sorry, a mile and a half, about a half a mile, and then we had to climb down the rocks. That was fun. Well, it's about time. That's pretty. Little hybrid bass. I think we took a picture of the clean side. <laughs> what did you catch it on? A little fluke, mini fluke. Nice. So, what are we having for lunch today, good sir? Chili. Chili. We are making chili. Making chili. We brought some beans. We brought some tomatoes, uh, okra, and corn. Tomatoes, okra, and corn. Chili beans. Huh, this, the, is, uh, this is interesting. Did you know, due to the canning process, canned food, foods require no preservatives? I'm looking I for the space where it says, duh. Did, uh, you brought the can over there, right? I guess we could shoot them over, maybe. Well, I do have a multi tool. Let's see what we've got in my home. My keychain, I have got a trusty P38 can opener. Never leave home without it. I have a trusty Leatherman part of my thing. Yeah. yeah. He's been, he, he, nothing I do. Nothing. Good enough. Again, make better suggestions. <laughs> Dude, I love this little pot. It's a uh, crap out of this thing. Totally worth packing out here to the room. Hot lunch. Oh, yeah. By the way, you can't be considered a country if you don't carry a leather. I got a leather. Oh, I know you do. You got a freaking bat belt. You guys are uh, cooking out like we do. Make sure you save your cans, these little cans, because that way you don't have to pack bowls. Just eat right out of the can. And voila. <laughs> and it also turns it into a deadly weapon. <coughs> We 
not having ideal fishing conditions. But we are having food on the riverbank. We are having ideal chili conditions. Uh, I need to find a piece of driftwood or stick or something. Spoon. A clean stick. That's like an oxymoron. <laughs> the river will provide. It'll provide a stick. Now you want clean, you're going to have to go into the city. This will already go away. This willow stick ought to work. Hopefully it's willow and not, you know, poison sumac. <laughs> ah, the chili will taste good. It'll be yeah. the after effects that get you. This cam is all bent up. Yeah. That's where I like my cameras. Yeah. People that use cans that aren't going up and just fancy. Fancy for us. Don't be afraid to make what you need out on the river though, guys. The river provides a lot of stuff. See we've got this little base, all kinds of stuff made up here. Just from what we found here on the river bank. And I hailed. Good enough. So he is uh, putting fuel in, getting ready to... Little sticks that we picked up from the high water mark on these rivers, you'll see the high water mark, there'll be a line of debris. <clears throat> we just walk down there and pick up little old sticks. And we're not going to need a whole lot uh, to cook what we want to cook here. We just got the one pot and everything's already pretty much cooked so we're just got to get the fire going and warm everything up. And that's way easy to do, especially since I cheat. This is a little bottle of alcohol that I carry with me. I just put me some alcohol in there. No, I didn't make it myself. Maybe. He was telling a different story when the camera was. Uh -uh. <laughs> We got flame. We'll let this burn and uh, get going real good. It'll start gasifying around these little holes on the inside over here. And this little few sticks and stuff that I got in there will be more than enough to, to keep it burning until uh, the chili's warm. Just been about a minute or so and that little bit of fuel, you see the flame, you see it's gasifying. There's not hardly any smoke. These things burn really efficient so it doesn't take very much fuel. Put our pot on there. Oh, 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 oh. Six or seven minutes it'll warm up. We'll get our stirring stick out and keep our stirring stick handy so we can stir it up every once in a while. A couple of minutes we'll be eating chili. Chili, oh, chili. Yeah. <laughs> that is looking good. What's it been? About eight minutes? Something like that. Oh man, <laughs> gotta love a hot chow on the riverbank. It's done, it's it's hot, I'm gonna pull it off. Well, we got fire still going, just that little bitty bit of fuel I put in there, man. Yeah, besides that, if you spill any food out here, you don't have to clean it up. A lot of folks, one of my grandpa used to say, you gotta slow down, slow down and live life or you're gonna miss it. Stuff right there. Not bad. And it can't just hop. Yeah, it does. Hold it up by the rain. Got a pontoon boat out there. That's what we need, man. A pontoon. Get a bunch of us on there and we don't have to worry about, you know, 
flipping and dying in a cold death in the river. He's going to buy it. That'd be one more thing we got to maintain. He does. Yeah, you know. With money, we're no object. That guy don't run into my line. Should be wish Ricky Wallace was here. Hey Ricky, you been fishing yet? <laughs> <laughs> Jason, you been you been fishing yet there, Big Bear? Wayne's on the riverbank fishing. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, everybody wants to be like Wayne. Close enough. <laughs> we pretty much live the same life, except yours is like a thousand times cooler. <laughs> that about cooler. You got a fish on you got that much fish. It's a little tiny pontoon. Fishing's pretty bad, so uh, I decided to take a walk down the riverbank. <clears throat> Just amazing the kind of crap the river collects. It has been up for so long and it's finally gone down, and this is the leftovers. I think this right here is pretty neat. This right here is one of the old buoys that must have uh, broke loose. They use it for uh, barge lanes and to mark off uh, how close you can get to the dam and stuff like that. It's really amazing. Nice view of the river though. There's the gas line. There is the dam in the distance. Well, I think we're about done for the day. We're going to fillet them right here on the riverbank. That way we don't have to carry them all the way back to the truck. And head on home. Still a beautiful day. Late afternoon. Sun's shining. Warmed up. There's way too much wind though. to cast out where you want to cast out because of the wind, but I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me because of the wind. But anyway, this was uh, our fishing trip for today, and there will be many more to come. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you next time.